Hey guys, look at this. An original Sony. This is an early Sony cassette player offered for the Canadian market. It's got the little maple leaf on it. This is a rare beast. I've had this since it was new. Uh, this goes back to the uh, mid 80s. I don't know if there's a date on this thing or not. But um, it says made in Japan. It was sold as the Walkman 11 and Walkman 22. Different colors. This one's blue. This thing was found in the drawer. It has not been touched. I haven't even opened this thing up. I don't even know whether it works. We're going to find out today. One thing I did note is that there's batteries in it. You know, they say you should never, ever, ever leave batteries in an item. Well, this shows how good the Panasonic alkaline batteries were of the date. Again, I don't believe there's any date on these batteries. Made in USA. So these batteries had an expiry date of July 2005. That was the use before date. So we know these batteries are really, really old. Maybe not quite as old as this unit here, but these batteries are, are ancient. Anyway, let's put these things in. I have no idea if these batteries work or not. I haven't tried them, but they're not leaking, which is a good sign. So we'll just put the cover back on this thing and turn it over. And uh, we'll press the play button and see if anything lights up. Oh, we have a light. That's a good sign. Shall we see if this thing plays? I have my auxiliary cord for my sound system here so that you can hear it. And for this treat, I have an original Sony demonstration tape. The group on here is called The Square. They're known now as T-Square. Uh, very famous Japanese jazz fusion band and uh, this is probably one of their first uh, tracks that they released. The band is still together after all these years. They've been together since the early 80s. Let's see if this thing works. Wow, look at that. It still works. That's incredible. So this this demonstration tape that I'm playing now, this is the demonstration tape that was given to the um, the Sony Walkman dealers to demonstrate Walkman uh, recorders or Walkman players. Of course, this is just a tape player. This does not record at all. This is just a straight. Uh, cassette tape player. I don't want that thing to pull off, pull down, but uh, what I've got to show you here, which I'll show you on another video because I don't know, I haven't had a chance to check this out yet, but uh, this one's for a future video. Another very rare beast. I don't know if this works or not, but if it doesn't, we're going to get it working. That would be the Sony recording Walkman. So, uh, a future video we're going to show you this, but this is this old Walkman 11. This thing's been sitting in a drawer for many, many years with the original batteries or batteries that are at least 15 years old, if not older. If the batteries had an expiry date of 2005, they were probably uh, produced in the late 90s because most of these alkaline batteries have a shelf life of, uh, what, uh, eight, eight or so years. So um, there you go. It works. Interesting find, huh? Okay, remember I showed you this professional Walkman. Let's see if it works. I put some batteries in it. I've got a tape. And, oh, this has got line out and... Does it line in too? It's got a line out. And it's got a plug-in power line in for a microphone. Let's go to the line out and see whether this thing works. It's 
it's even got a VU meter. My cord is kind of short here. But. This is a rare beast, this thing. I'm going to turn this thing down here before they uh, get upset with uh, me playing Pete Bardens because I'm sure that YouTube probably has something to say about that. Um, Dolby noise reduction. It can take a metal, or no, sorry, it can play back metal, but it can record on normal or high bias tape. Oh, and we may have a bit of a problem because I just heard the speed change. This was servo controlled, so there's actually a little servo motor, direct drive. There's no, or what, or what Sony called it, disc drive. Inside this thing, there is no belts. What there is is there's a motor which it's a little servo motor and it actually presses right up against the capstan shaft and the speed is electronically controlled a little there's a little it's got a um, a frequency generator that generates a a tone basically and it compares that tone to its own internal reference and that's how the speed control is controlled it's a servo control as you can see professional this was a professional recorder and it was very popular in the 80s with bootleggers that would uh, smuggle one of these things into a concert and uh, record the audio from their favorite group um, this was replaced by the Sony portable dat uh, recorder which I also have but it doesn't work but uh, there you go there's my my Sony professional uh, cassette recorder player to be taken apart and uh, restored on a future video because it's playing I know it records too uh, it's playing fine except for I heard the speed change when I pressed on the cabinet so there's a good chance that something is loose it's a connection that's loose or or something um, is loose in here but we're going to uh, we're going to tear this thing down and take a look at it look at this the switch on here you can set it for line input or microphone input so you can plug it into your existing stereo system like a CD player or turntable and use this as a recorder and the quality of the recording of this was claimed by Sony to be every bit as good as a home cassette deck it had the same circuitry in it as a home cassette deck um, right down to being able to record on high bias tape it actually used if you look inside here it actually used a proper erase head an electromagnetic erase head as opposed to a lot of the recorders the basic recorders just had a fixed magnet that would press up against the tape to erase it this one actually has a proper erase head so that it's able to erase a high bias tape and of course your record playhead and your little pinch roller over here in capstan shaft but uh, there's my Sony uh, professional unit this is the Walkman uh, Sony cassette recorder WMD3 hope you enjoyed it